Hey guys, it's Chelsea and I just wanted to do a little Q&A. I am getting a lot of direct messages. All happens in the DM, like it goes down, wait, it goes down in the DM, right? It apparently does go down in the DM because I get questions all the time in my direct message on Instagram of how I lost weight, how did I do it, what's the most important thing. So I figured that I just get some actual questions and answer them for you so that you can know a little bit of my journey and how I lost about 60 pounds. During the summer, that goes down to about 50 pounds, but still, it's a lot of weight. So let's get started. Um, the first question I got was, if there's any one piece of advice that you would say is number one diet takeaway to be successful. I'd say the number one diet takeaway to be successful is to start working out. <laughs> it's not really a diet thing. When you work out, you have this kind of mentality that you don't want to mess up what you just did at the gym. And I know some people say it's backwards because they actually get way more hungry and so they actually just like mess it up by eating more. But I'd say that if you really are serious about eating right, then you want to start being active. So if as soon as I started getting to the gym more often, I started being more conscious about what I ate. If I was to say just with diet what I did, it was to get the bad food out of my house. I mean, I do not have bread, I do not have ice cream, I do not have anything. Like, I barely have mayonnaise, okay? <laughs> That's probably my number one diet tip. Number two, big diet tip because I'm going deeper. I'm going deeper into this question. Number two diet tip, tip would be um, to pack your lunch. So. Instead of going out to lunch, I went to, out to lunch so much uh, in years past and now I just started bringing my lunch and I always figure, like I'm actually not as hungry during the day. I think if you absolutely hate your life, you might be snacking a lot, like that's a different problem to fix, but I'd say like I'm more hungry and start to snack more when I'm at home. So if I pack good for the day, at least if I screw it up by eating popcorn, which isn't that bad, but popcorn still, like the popcorn I get still just a treat to me. Um, then I don't feel terrible for eating popcorn or eating, um, you know, a mochi ball or whatever when I get home. Like, I never ever have anything bad for breakfast, like unless it's a one-off experience that I might get, like, you know, I'm out with a friend for breakfast, which is really rare because nobody wakes up on the weekends before 11. I usually make an omelet and a smoothie, definitely some protein. I have so much spinach, like I have three huge cartons of spinach in my fridge right now. I don't even know if I'll be able to eat it, but I have spinach for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, it's just such a good superfood. If you like microgreens, you can stuff those in your smoothies too, but my go-to smoothie is protein powder, which, I mean, you can find whoever you follow and find their protein powder. I pick the ones that have no sugar or very, very low sugar because I definitely don't want to start my day out with a sugar high or even adding any kind of sugar to my diet. So I start out with a ton of either microgreens or spinach, I put some protein powder, I put some um, unsweetened coconut almond milk and a little bit of peanut butter powder, some ice, and I always do a small amount of fruit. You don't wanna overload on fruit, sugar is sugar. I usually do like one fourth a cup, which isn't a ton, but even if it's like frozen blueberries, it sure, it sure gets that whole smoothie to taste bomb. I've heard from so many people that lost weight that just doing one smoothie a day um, definitely helps lose weight. I mean, I know a lot of people are into like vegan, like vegetarian, gluten-free, all this stuff. I have like a little grilled chicken, maybe a piece of fruit, some Greek yogurt. I mean, I really don't like overload my lunches with a ton of stuff. Like I leave room for like those almonds that I want to snack on at 3 p.m. I'd say my definite fault still to this day, and the reason I don't have abs, I want abs and I'll get them someday, but it's like not my eating. My eating during the week is like pretty spot on. I mean, I'll have grilled chicken and salad, pretty much, and avocado. I mean, I really, like in my fridge, don't have that many bad things. I don't have anything that's bad for you. It's the whole point of this. Anyway, yeah, so number one tip would be get it out of your house. Like, no bread, literally no bread. Like, I don't care, unless it's like really healthy and you like to like spread avocado on it for one little piece of toast in the morning or something, like, that's fine, but anyway. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Okay, the next question is, did you make any changes to help speed your metabolism? I would say the changes that I made were, number one, I drank 
and drink so much water and I'm not a scientist but I'm pretty sure that that'll help your metabolism right probably yeah no I definitely always get sleep and I've heard that staying up late or getting not getting sleep really affects your metabolism and it's funny because the person who asked this question is a nurse that works overnight and that's really hard because it's really hard to be starving your body of something that it needs so deep it's like a basic need it's a basic need how to get sleep so I'd say as soon as I started um, getting a little more sleep and just being more consistent with it like I do not party like I might be out till might be on the weekends out till 12 if it's really crazy night maybe one but I'm definitely not drinking after 12 absolutely not like I need my sleep I always try to get eight hours and I feel like that really helps my metabolism that's the other thing I don't buy like anything but LaCroix and water and I mean I really and booze which is bad, don't buy booze, but yeah. Okay, another question that I got was, what are your thoughts on diets that restrict an ent entire food group? What are my thoughts on diets that restrict an entire food group? Well, I've heard people doing like Whole30 or like a juice cleanse or like whatever, and I am not a proponent of cutting things out. I would much rather see you substitute something before you cut it out. So like if you love nachos, like find a cheese that's like a substitute for cheese, like a chips that aren't the worst chips ever for you. Like try to take what you already like and make it good. So like maybe cut out some of those things like on your burger, maybe cut out the bun and cut out the cheese. And so you still get that juicy burger, but you're not like depriving yourself of all the things you like. Because I think that first off cleanses and like 24 day, 12 day, or like 30 day whole food, whatever. I mean, I think it's a good practice. The whole 30 I think is more to see like what your body responds to and what it doesn't like. So people like go off gluten and then they'll be like, I feel so much better. And it's like, well, you also weren't eating a lot of other crap and you were conscious about it. And also like, I mean, there's a lot of factors. There's sugar that could have been making that. like. You can't just blame something. I don't think we are scientists and we don't know exactly what is going on with our food and what's making us feel different ways. I, I mean, I totally get like process of elimination. Like if you take something out and you feel better, that's great. But I also just disagree with um, going on huge diets. Like I think you should all the time be 80-20. Like you're 80% good all the time and 20% you can have that cheesecake or whatever you need. But I'd say like I would never buy like a sugar cereal. Some of these are things that I used to do and I can't believe like I used to buy Moscato. Moscato is like pure sugar and like if you want a white wine like or drink rosé or drink a light white wine, a dry wine, something that isn't like just just so dense with sugar. I mean I just cut those things out. I was like no more anything that has that much sugar. Especially like you don't want to start your day with a sugary cereal. Like, I just was getting that like cinnamon toast crunch stuff and I was like eating that every morning for breakfast which not only was that setting my day up for me to be craving sugar the rest of the day but it was also just not good for me at all it probably had zero protein I don't know zero I probably have a little fiber but I definitely think you need fiber and protein in the morning and I like to get those those through shakes. I use the Nutribullet because it's just quick, fast, and I can clean it up really fast. Like Trevor has this whole apparatus of this like Vega Mega Vitamix thing, and I'm just like, it's too much work. I just wanna like wash it out, wash it out, done. Like super easy. I make one after my workout too, so it's just kind of simple like that. Okay. Um so this girl is also saying, um, like Adkins, are they sustainable or meant for a weight loss kickstart? Okay, so background story on weight loss programs. So I came to my mom Thanksgiving of maybe 2013, I think it was 2013, and I was fat as freak. Like I was so fat, I was over 200 pounds, and I just could not do it. Like anytime I tried to even just eat one meal and be healthy, I just couldn't do it. So I said, mom, I'm so desperate, will you help me? And she was like, okay, let's try Jenny Craig. So Jenny Craig, like I think my problem was I was at college and I was like just struggling with like eating in the, it was called the bone, <laughs> but eating in the cafeteria or cooking my own food when I was like, I was just all over the place. And so Jenny Craig was, I'd drive out to Beaverton and I'd get all of this food and it was basically like portioned out for you. 
but the problem was like it didn't teach you how to cook it didn't teach you how to pick foods like out very much like they definitely had a little book that was like here are the things to pick but nobody's gonna look at that book when you're at Applebee's you're just gonna be like uh like I feel like this is healthy so I definitely don't suggest things like Jenny Craig because all I did was learn how to microwave and eat like way too many of the treats within one day and be like I'm out of treats like I would like hordes of these foods and I just eat more like it was not a good program for me I can't say the same for Adkins or Weight Watchers I've heard really really good things about Weight Watchers it makes you more conscious of where you want to have your cheats because some people don't understand that, that like the difference between like a scoop of peanut butter and a scoop of peanut butter is like a hundred calories like there's so many different places where you could be eating a lot more than you think so I'd say that if I was gonna try um, you know another program when I was in the same Position, I would definitely not do one where they give you the food. I would do one where it helps you and learns, learns you. I'd do one where it learns you the best ways. No. Um, one where it helps teach you not to give up the things you love, but how to substitute um, some things that are bad for things that are better. Those are just a few questions. I hope you enjoyed. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will see you next time.